Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today we're going to have a look at my favorite Ubuntu flavor and that is the Budgie desktop. So the Budgie desktop is developed by the Solace team and uh, Solace, if you are unfamiliar with that distro, is a ground up Linux distribution which of course features the Budgie desktop which is based on GNOME. So if uh, you are looking for some of the custom functionality that you find in GNOME but you want the uh, but you want something that's a little bit more more uh, traditional in appearance and look and feel, Budgie is probably a good choice for you. I kind of call this your blending between your Windows and your Mac. We, of course, have a standard menu, and we have kind of a slide-out, kind of like Mac actually has. So, of course, in Ubuntu, the panel is on the top. Most of your Budgie builds, your panel is on the bottom. That is actually very easy to change, so we're not going to talk much about that. Uh, what I really like about this is there is a lot of cool features and functions in this one and one of the things that I really love about the Ubuntu Budgie team is that these guys really listen to a lot of user feedback and there's a lot of things in this that's different from previous versions and uh, we will look at what some of those are. Of course this used to actually come with Chromium but based on community uh, desire they switched it to Firefox. That was actually something they came out in the last edition in 1810 but it is still there. Uh, but some of the things that uh, we are going to be looking at is uh, they have changed a few minor things. You know, fonts have changed around a little bit. Um, of course, wallpapers. But here we have the um, uh, the Ubuntu uh, Budgie welcome screen. Now this is translated into a lot more languages. So if English is not your primary language, they do have a lot more of these items available. And uh, just kind of looking at, at what all of these are, we have a variety of different tools and functions. You can see that we have the ability to install from the repo and install from the snap. So if you're like me and you're not a fan of the snaps, you have the ability to install from the repo. If you do love snaps, then you actually have the ability to do that. This is an excellent thing. Uh, so that it basically caters to either one of the positions. Um, there's Google Chrome, Vivaldi, so these are all your different web browsers, of course. So if you are looking for any of your different web browsers, you can go ahead and grab your favorite browsers here. Of course, Firefox being our default. And then we have some basic customization. So the uh, there are two settings panels inside of Budgie. I do cover a lot more about how to use the ins and outs and the customization of Budgie. I have a separate video specifically on that. So we're not going to go into that details here, but I will have that in the description and carded. Your Budgie desktop settings are based on just the things for Budgie and your um, regular settings are your GNOME settings. Then we have our keyboard shortcuts. If you would like to customize your keyboard shortcuts, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, now we have post installation. We have updates and extras. We have the driver utility, language and input, and some optional tasks. So inside of this, we have the updater, and I think that that's what this is. So the software updater is already running right now. So this is ready to check for updates. Um, there's restricted extras. I don't remember what these ones are. Uh, and quickly install the ability to play popular non-free. Okay, so this is this is things like your your codecs if you want to play DVDs, things like that. If you're new to Linux, the reason this is uh, as an extra on here is not all regions uh, allow these to be installed um, by default on a system. This is the reason why Linux can be free. You might be like it's an extra step. It is an extra step, but this is actually why. It is, it is um, legally freely distributable. So if you go ahead and click your install, then you will be able to do DVDs, MP3s, QuickTime, Windows Media Formats, all those types of things. So that's what those are in there for. And this is just so nice that you get this on your screen when you first install the system. So I did install this and I did not do anything else. Here's additional drivers. A lot of people might have problems with Wi-Fi or, or graphics cards or, or anything else that you might have that's weird on your system. Additional drivers is a tool that will allow you to install separate uh, drivers. And then you can see here, it's there's a little bit here, uh, VirtualBox Guest Editions. This probably is showing up because I'm running this inside of a VirtualBox. 
and then language and support, and then here's your optional tasks. So if you need a backup utility, if you need a firewall, uh, or if you need to configure your users, you can go ahead and do that. So that is what we have inside of inside of here. And for those interested in my system specifications, again, I'm running this in a virtual box. This does run on the kernel five, and we are in a virtual box. I've given the virtual box um, six gigs of RAM. And so you can see what all my system specs are right there. Okay, so with that being said, we're not gonna run updates right now. The greatest thing that I absolutely love, if there's one thing I don't like about Budgie, it is that uh, Budgie, because it's based on GNOME, has Nautilus as a file manager, and I do not like Nautilus. Um, there's The reasons I don't like it is it is very difficult when you're transferring files between systems. It doesn't give you the separate window that you can kind of move out of your way. Literally that little pop-up that indicates how far the status is going and your files and things are done literally gets in my way every single time I'm using it. But the Budgie team listens to user feedback and then one of the highest requested things is to change your file manager so what they've actually done here is they actually have replaced nautilus with nemo and so if you like nemo like i do or you want the advanced features of something like nemo you have the ability to do that so of course this has uh, split panes. It has a lot of different things. Uh, as my good buddy Jesse Crypto says, uh, it doesn't handle network management quite as well, but that's perfectly okay. Now you might have noticed that it is an older version. It is 3.8.5. Uh, version 4 is available, and if you want that, you can grab that from the back ports. Uh, so that is something that is available. It's just out of the repo. Uh, we have version 3.8.6, but if you install the back ports. Uh, PPAs, you can go ahead and get up to 4.0.6. All right. Uh, also, if you need to integrate Dropbox uh, with Nemo, that is available in the Backports PPA, and Nemo Share is also in that system as well. So that is, in my opinion, one of the things that makes this one of the best implementations of Budgie at this point in time. We get the modernity of the Budgie desktop with the Nemo File Manager, which is pretty much the reason I love Linux Mint. Um, I still think I sentiment's probably a little bit better in my personal opinion, but that's a completely subjective opinion. So those are kind of your, your basic builds out of this. So as far as getting everything working with this, uh, we have, of course, uh, inside of our basic menu, we have uh, accessories. Um, <clears throat> Catfish is the file search system that they're using. So if you're searching for files, this is one of the features that you have. Um, here's your internet. Um, I did install the minimal system tools. I'm not sure why we still have LibreOffice Math installed um, with the minimal installation, but but we happen to uh, we happen to have that. So there is what we have as Budgie. Now another thing that they did is uh, they used to ship it with caffeine. Uh, they have actually disabled the caffeine monitor because this is Budgie uh, 10.5, which actually now has caffeine built into it, and it's actually just a panel widget. So if we were to load up our Budgie desktop settings then you could come over here to your panel and uh, you'll see that uh, caffeine uh, is actually one of the official uh, applets. This is, I mean, every time I look at Budgie, it's, they're just making it better and better. Now, if you, you will notice that they have the power switch up here on my uh, one of my earlier videos about uh, about the new Solace when it came out, when 10.5 just came out, um, I had indicated that uh, I did not like the fact that they removed the power button down there. That is actually still there. Um, it's under Raven settings, and it's just now a setting, and it's toggled off by default. So if we toggle that on, now I have the ability to lock, um, load up my settings, lock the screen, and power off so I can get rid of the power icon. I think this is the power off, if I remember. Uh, that's the log out. Let me see. I thought that was the log out and the other one was the power button. Uh, but you have that uh, you have that ability at, at the bottom there. So if you want to take the power strip off, you can go ahead and do that as well. So that's something that I missed the first time around, but I just wanted to correct that, that it is still in there. 
So another uh, feature that the community asked for is uh, getting able to get to some of the different software. One of those was the advanced network configuration. So if you wanted to get to the uh, into that system, you can do um, you can get to there from within the menu. Uh, also, uh, as we looked at and saw earlier, LibreOffice Math that actually used to be hidden from the menu. Maybe that's why it's showing up. Um, also, uh, software sources is directly available from the menu and your driver's uh, utility is also from the menu. Those all used to be hidden and uh, now they are available directly from the menu. Uh, again, that was based on uh, user request. So there really is a lot of uh, a lot of really good functions and features within this. Uh, as far as uh, an Ubuntu build is, uh, this is actually one to, one to definitely try out. So uh, I don't know. I might even try and give it a give it a little bit of a run. We do have the ability to use our desktop folders, and you will see under created documents they actually have a lot of tools and stuff in here. So these are all in here presumably because they have templates in the template directory. But I'm going to go ahead and double check that. So yeah, you can see here they have an Excel sheet, they have a Word doc, they have a PowerPoint, they have a Calc doc. Um, those are not, you'll see that will load up just like this. That's because LibreOffice is not installed. Probably do the same thing if I load this up as well uh, because I don't have an application for those installed. But it is very nice that they streamline the system by giving us uh, a lot of templates in here, things that you might want to be looking for. Of course, our desktop settings over here, our file searches over here. So everything here is uh, is pretty good. Uh, we also have the ability, uh, unlike uh, one of the criticisms I had on the Ubuntu, uh, the, the base build is that even though they technically have some folders and things, we didn't actually have the ability to really do a lot from those uh, just because GNOME is really taking out the ability to work with the desktops. But the Solace team has kept that functionality in and this combined with Nemo, we can do anything off the desktop just as well as you could on any old legacy system. And frankly, a lot of you out there still like using icons on the desktop, and that is very important. So those are kind of my, my highlights, what's changed in Ubuntu Budgie. This is definitely my favorite Ubuntu build, a um, favorite Ubuntu flavor, I should say. And I would definitely, um, definitely encourage you to check it out. So uh, thanks for watching this video. You can help support the channel by having a look at the links above or in the description down below. Follow along on the social media if you want to get regular updates on what videos we are posting. Thanks for watching and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.